All right, what's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Tech Rods, and I'm back with the new series. Now, Madden 17 is coming out in a couple of weeks, and I've been talking about doing this series for a while, and we're finally do it. So we're actually on the PS4. I started a brand new Ultimate Team account, and I told myself, you know what? I want to kind of share my thought process with the subs on what the right way to go about building a team is if you don't have any money to spend. So that's right, this series is gonna be the no money spent squad. And so here's one thing that we've did. I haven't paid for any packs or done pretty much anything as far as that goes. The only thing I did was I did the Journey 5 solos and I used the players given to me. Now I did purchase two players because you may or may not know this, but you need an 80 overall team to complete the Journey 5 solos. At one point, you need a 75 overall team to continue, and at the end, you need an 80 overall team. So the only two players that I actually purchased was this basically Ben Roethlisberger for about 2,000 coins, and I used the coins that I was getting from doing the solos. Uh, I also had to purchase this basically Antonio Gates, which was my choice. I bought him for about 2,100 coins. The other elite that I got, I just got from the elite player packs that you get throughout. So I did open up one of the packs, unfortunately, by mistake, and it was this card right here that I got uh, after opening that one Legends pack. But other than that, guys, every other player that I have here, I got through actually just doing the solos. Even the elites that you see, guys, I got all those just from doing the solos that you guys see. So I got an 80 overall team. So here's what we're actually going to do. For this very first episode, we're actually, I saved up all the packs. I do have a Clinton Portis, by the way. You haven't seen that, that flashback Clinton Portis. We'll take a look at it uh, right now, actually. We'll go in and take a look at it. I thought this would be a pretty cool idea and show you guys that you don't actually need to spend any real money to take advantage of this mode. So we got this 99 overall Clinton Portis. It's the final reward that you get from doing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into the packs. But first, let me tell you what the thought process is behind this series. Here's what I'm going to do. I haven't played a single head-to-head -head game uh, on the head-to-head -head ranked games. For every win that I get in head-to-head -head rank, I'm going to purchase one player, obviously, with the coins that I get. If I cause my opponent to rage quit, I can get two players. And I'm going to do it based on what you guys tell me to buy. Now, obviously, I have to have the coins for it, but that's how we're going to go. And we're going to see how far we can take this up until Madden 17 comes out. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into this pack over. So once again, here are all the packs that I actually got. I waited till Saturday specifically, which is another thing I want to get into. So today, we got an Ultimate Legend, Randall Cunningham, and we got an Ultimate Legend, Michael Strahan. Now, I'm gonna release this video on a Sunday, so I say today, but it was actually done on Saturday. So that's why I'm waiting right here. You usually wanna wait until there's actually good stuff in packs. So obviously, pulling a boss card, while it may not be ideal, as far as for the purposes of this uh, series, it can happen to you guys, and that'd be awesome if we actually get a boss card, which we could then sell, and get a whole bunch of coins from it and get some pretty good players. All right, let's jump into this pack opening. So we're first gonna jump into this pro packs. And the reason why I wanted to do this guys is because after I actually open all these pro packs, I'm gonna show you what it is that I do with the actual sets to, um, to actually get some coins out of those. So we didn't get too much out of here, but we're gonna actually put everything into a set after this and we're gonna get all the coins from that. Coming into our second pro pack here, we don't actually have much. And now while the Journey 5 solos guys do take a lot of time to complete, you can basically just watch your favorite streamer, listen to some music, put on some Netflix and knock them out. Nice, and right here we get a Rashad Matthews early on, 96 overall wide receiver. It's an actual moving addition, 91 speed, 96 route running. That's not bad at all, especially considering we have nobody on the team. Let's go into this next veteran pack and see what we got. Now, even though a lot of my complaints with Madden this year were actually the fact that there was just a lot of gameplay issues. All right, we get an 86 overall Arian Foster. There was a lot of gameplay issues. What I really actually love with this year's Madden 
was the fact that they put so much into the game as far as ultimate team goes to allow you to kind of build up your coins so even if you just like you know you, you still live at home with your parents you didn't have a job or whatever it is and you didn't have that much money to actually buy packs it still gave you a chance to go out there and get pretty good teams my subs and a lot of my viewers on twitch were telling me that they were able to build 96 97 98 overall teams just by doing solos and those kind of things right there nice and we get a dwight lowry free safety 93 overall so already we're getting a lot of updates just from these packs and remember guys all these packs i got them just off of doing the journey five solos let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to actually do a video on some of the best ways to complete those solos because i've gotten a lot of stuff from the viewers on how to do those things as well all right, so going into these legend packs right here, we did get the badge overall, so nothing much there. Now let's go into our game changer pack, which I believe is this, no, the ultimate legends pack is gonna be the actual last one that we do. Gold badge from that one. All right, not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's get into this ultimate legends pack. I'm surprised they, I'm surprised they didn't give us another like elite pack, and that would've been pretty great. Patrick Robinson, cornerback right here so we got a pretty good corner i'll check his stats here in a bit all right tyron smith nice we get an uh, ultimate legend badge i'm guys since it's so late and in mutt right now i'm actually not going to put anything into like major sets i'm just going to put into the set, like the gold player sets and stuff like that unless they have some kind of value nice man covered safety right here with all right press i like that i like that all right, so that's the end of those regular packs right here. What I'm going to get into now is some of these that are going to guarantee us some pretty good players. Let's go into the Campus Hero Elite Pack first and see what we're going to get out of this. Come on, bro. Come on. Devin's still defensive tackle. Still better than our defensive tackles. But that's crap right there. Not what we're looking for at all. All right, throwback pack. Let's see what we get out of this. And I got a 94 overall Jamal Charles. Nice little backup for my Clinton Portis. So already my backfield's looking pretty good. 97 speed. I love that. That's great right there, guys. A pretty good pull from the throwback pack. I like that. All right, getting into this flashback pack. Let's see what we're going to get. Lamar Woodley. I did give away Lamar Woodley earlier in the year. But not a bad left outside linebacker to have. Kind of on the slower side. But like I said, man, right now, well, I really need it. So let's see. If I can get Aaron Rodgers out of this. This would be amazing right now. All right, Steve Atwater, though. Steve Atwater's not bad. Really good free safety. So a pretty good pack opening as far as that goes. All right, guys. So after plugging in all the players that I was able to get from that pack opening, I still stayed with about 89,000 coins. I didn't have to buy anybody new. I have an 88 overall team. This is what the offense looks like. And then this is what the defense looks like. So obviously we have some holes, guys. I'll show you the specialists as well, just in case. But we do have some holes in the offense. It's still pretty good for us to do some work. So remember, in the next episode, start giving us ideas of who we should buy when we get our victories. Put that in the comment section below. And we'll get some gameplay for you guys in the next episode. Smash that thumbs like if you're liking this, uh, this new series. Subscribe if you're new. But most importantly, take care of yourself. Peace.